have to be that delusional person that says, <laughs> I'm gonna be a multimillionaire. I'm gonna own my own company. I'm gonna own my own brand. I'm going to be self-sustaining. Um, and it's the people that aren't big risk takers that end up failing at missed opportunities. Absolutely. You know? And something else, not to go, it has to do with everything with what you're saying, but I think, especially living in like a fast pace, everything is like results, you gotta hustle, and you see all these, you know, if you're, you know, rise and grind. Ugh. Yeah. Like you definitely should be focused and working, but also you need to look inward, take mm -hmm. time for you, take that silence for you. Yes. And, and also, like I said, it's always a knowing, but I'm, I'm kind of a nerd. Like I study things like Neville Goddard. Like live. Oh, I love the, him. Uh, I love him. My, I love him. That's my He's boo. the best. So no, I listen to his yeah. books nonstop. But it's like live in the end. Have a knowing. But then then you have to get. It's like you have to know you're going to get that result, but then not be attached to it to where you have a fear of losing yes. it before it even comes to you. Yeah. So it's an absolute knowing, and then like we just were talking about, you're deserving of whatever, to be paid for that job. Yeah. You're deserving to move up to that next level. Mm -hmm. You're deserving to be in certain groups. Sometimes I've shied away from being in certain environments because I feel like I don't belong. Mm -hmm. I feel like a black sheep, mm -hmm. you know? I do. But it's like, no, why wouldn't you belong? It's okay, yeah. you know? And it's, it's different, so don't be afraid of that. I think